here we are as you can see I have used many layers in this particular file so each uh, uh, skin tone and uh, clothing everything is in a different different layers but the initial sketch will be in a different format like this I have reduced opacity here so this is a very really basic sketch above this I will be creating one more layer and the redrawing uh, detail sketch which will help me in uh, coloring so before that I will have to reduce opacity of this particular sketch and create one more layer and start redrawing on that and select brush with uh, this particular brush I prefer black tone for detail sketch then make sure that you click on uh, these two options next to opacity and uh, flow next to opacity this particular uh, icon it gives you brush pressure uh, like uh, brush sensitivity it can detect very perfectly and this particular option is for the thickness of the brush for example right now it feels like I'm actually drawing on a paper with the pencil suppose if I switch off these options this is how the brush will be so if I click on the brush sensitivity it will be like this it can detect the pressure of the brush and suppose if I switch off this and switch on this one it can detect the thickness of the brush so when you click both these options you can get the perfect brush value like uh, drawing on pencil I'm going to show you a small portion of the sketch how I draw the detailed sketch you can also do the minor uh, shading if it is helping you in uh, coloring for example below the eyes or the, just to indicate the light source So this is like a, just a portion of the illustration. After this, the rough scribble, whichever is there on a different layer, switch it off. Then you will get you'll get only the detail sketch. Once the detail sketch is completed, you can create uh, one more layer and start coloring on that. So I'll show you how I did that. This is the first stage of coloring. Here I have already merged the pencil scribble and the color tone, but the skin tone and the cloth both are in different different layers. So here as you can see I have already started the coloring on the skin tone. So here I am giving the light source from the top. So you can see the lights on his cheek and the light direction is already there. Now I'm going to select the brush number 100 here you can see. 
see here. And even here, both these options are enabled. Make sure that you don't go too far away from the basic tone of the color uh, the, of the skin tone. Like suppose if you have chosen uh, this particular tone, stick to the in this range itself. Only in some areas you can maybe you can add a uh, little bit orange tone or a uh, little bit more reddish tone, but not to don't go too extreme to yellowish tone. This brush is not helping me here, so I'm going to change, change the brush again, which I have already used for uh, sketching purpose. I usually start the coloring with the medium tone, not too dark or not too light. Then I begin with the darker tone. Then finally I do the touch up with the lighter tones. Then finally merge it. Sometimes you can use some models or uh, some reference images just to get an idea about the lighting. to add some highlights on the one.
this is set and let me light it down near this eye. So once this is done, I'm going to select a small tool here and uh, select brush number 100, which is here, this particular brush. Here. It looks like this. It can give you a rough feel of a uh, brush. Once this thing is completed, maybe you can keep on going to the rest of the parts. So I'll show you how the final image will look like. So here we are. This is already completed. So again for the hair, I did each of them individually. There are no brush shortcuts or uh, any Photoshop effects. For example, I choose a normal brush which I already used for the skin tone and uh, sketching purpose. I'm going to add some darker tone to the hair. Then choose smudge brush. Then again back to brush. This time I will select a little middle tone for the hair. Here the hair is very curly, so I'm going to put the direction in whichever angle I need. Once this is done, I'll select small tool again. Then smudge the edges of the brush. So, since the Light source is from top. I'm going to add highlight. Now, after doing this highlight, again select a smudge tool here and merge it back. Again, this is a small portion. So once you complete the entire hair portion, 
it will look really good like here. Here I have added uh, more lighter tone from top since the light is light source is coming from top and it gets dull and dull when it goes down here. You can see the detail. Uh, It's always uh, good when you do the background uh, as as on uh, when you start the uh, character as well. So the reflecting tone will be in the same direction. But here I was very sure about keeping a gray tone, so I gave the reflection as a gray tone itself. Uh, even on uh, his skin, the reflecting tone is a gray. So I'll show you how it will look after completing the background so this is it this is the background I have also added the shadow which is created manually there is no shortcut to create a shadow it's always good if you do it manually one by one Again, I have added uh, different different layers for the props. In case you want to change it later, it will be easier if it is in a different different layers. So I also added the cap around his neck, like this. And just to add some character, I added the uh, eye patch. Only if you need it. Or just to move it. For this particular camera, I have used the reference image here. The final illustration doesn't look uh, similar to this, but it's just a reference just to uh, get some technical parts right so that's it hope this video was very useful for you uh, in case you have any doubts just write to us at uh, creative Data magazine i'll get back to you thank you